Hi everyone, Shabbat Tov. This week is going to be the Hilula, the yacht site of a very famous rabbi from Iraq. We're naturally on the 9th of Sivan this week of Rabbi Yaakov Chaim Sofer. He was actually the author of the famous Code of Jewish Law, a book, a expoundation of it, of the Kafa Chaim, naturally, which is written from Rabbi Yosef, Ka Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef Karo's colossal work of the Code of Jewish Law. And he actually was born back in the year 1870 in the city of Baghdad, in the country, naturally, of Iraq, and naturally passed away in the year 1939 which uh, Hilula is naturally uh, here on the 9th of Sivan, so around the end of May, early June uh, period in the year 1939, during the, probably the, uh, around the start of the time of the Second World War. He was born in Baghdad, and he learned at a very young age in Yeshiva, famous uh, Sephardic Yeshiva in Iraq, of the name Midrash Zilka, which I've spoken about before because... I've done a video both on the famous rabbi, the Ben Ishchai, and also on Chacham Abdallah Somech. Very interesting. His teachers were, was the Ben Ishchai and Chacham Abdallah Somech. And uh, I very much recommend to look back at those earlier videos I did on them. And you can hear about the greatness of those uh, great Chachamim inside those videos. So he learned under the, a lot of great Chabrutot also at the time. It was a period, a golden age period of great Torah scholarship in Iraq and after studying many years he went and visited Israel in the year 1904 he went to the Ottoman of Palestine at that time and he went with Dayan Sadka Hussein and also the Asai Hayair over there they went to Israel on a trip over there to visit the 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 chief rabbi at the time the, uh, the Rishon Letzion and also to go to the Kibrit Tzadikim the burial places of the great uh, righteous Rabbanim over there because it's a big, big, uh, very, very important to do that. So he went there and then he decided he wanted to stay. He wanted to uh, live there, sojourn there. And it was definitely a very, very famous move for him. He studied automatically, went to the Yeshivat Bet El, which I've spoken about before, a very great uh, Yeshiva, which nurtured so many great Kabbalists and uh, learned the uh, Kabbalah at the highest level. And I think when he came into Israel, it was reported over, he started writing a lot of his amazing, his uh, very important works, his great Sepharim over there. In the year 1909, he would go on and move to the new yeshiva at the time, which was the Shoshanim, the Shoshanim Le David Yeshiva, which I've also spoken about before. And he wrote many works. The Kafa Chaim was uh, in, printed mostly in 10 volumes, which was an expoundation of the Shulun Khan Aroch, the different chileks over there, Yure, the Yuredera, Yuredea, it is called also the very many different uh, Chalakim of the Shulchan Aroch, and it's very, very widely used by everyone today in many of the Shivot or many of the households, let's just say, and uh, very much commented on, and uh, I very much recommend that everyone buys a set wherever they can. It's called the Kaf HaChaim. He wrote that work over there, which uh, is also equivalent, many people say, to the Mishnah Brura also which was actually learned, compiled by the Chafetz Chaim also. Also, another book that he wrote was called the Kol Yaakov, which was teaching how to write Sefri Torah, Tfilin and Mezuzot. Also, there was a Yegel Yaakov also, naturally has his name inside of it. And over here, it's compiled of his Shabbat Drashot, his Shabbat uh, sermons, let's just say. There was Yismach Yisrael also, which was a compilation of Parshiot and Torah readings. And another famous colossal work also was the Chaim Ad HaOlam, which was Agada on Talmud. The Agada, the interesting stories written and compiled inside the Talmud, also inside the, <coughs> the Gemara. Also, and he wrote many, many other works also. And he passed away in the year 1939. So naturally, it's a uh, 9th of Sivan today. So we are talking about, we are now naturally in the 2023, so around 80... 84 years ago, or something like that, since uh, the time the video is being made. So his name was Chacham, Rabbi Yaakov Chaim Sofer Zechet Tzadik Lebracha, one of the great rabbis from Baghdad. Please read about him, many, many stories online. I very, very much recommend. And it's a yard site, like candles in his memory. And the Meiz and the Shama be protecting all of our Israel in modern day. Shavuot Tov, and please 
look over the old, the previous videos I've done also of the great Safadi Rabbanim. Have a great day. Bye.